It's January the 20th of 2019. Time for a three week update. Just over three weeks. We started on December the 28th with the four of each worms, four African night crawlers, four European night crawlers, and four red wigglers. Let's take a look, see if we got any progress. Okay, we'll start off here with the AMCs. Alright, so we got the four A and C's, and of course, I could not find a cocoon. I mean, they are very hard to find, regardless. Alright, now we got the E and C's. Try to find all four of those. And we got one. Two, three, and the fourth one is in the banana peel. So got all four ENCs, European night crawlers. Their cocoons are usually pretty easy to see. I don't see any right offhand. Okay, so here's the first thing I pulled out of the red wiggler container. There's a red wiggler in the banana peel, and there's one, two, three, four cocoons by this one worm in the banana peel. So that's pretty interesting. And I'm going to assume that there's three other worms in here. I will look for them. Alright, so I got all four red wigglers and five cocoons. So after finding the cocoons in the red wiggler bin, made me want to look a little closer. There's one in the European bin. They're a little bit bigger and they're a lot easier to see, so I was hoping I'd find one at least. Go with the banana again. Just uh, I'm gonna go in the back corner here. Just gonna smash it up a little bit. We got three, pretty close to identical size for each one. One, two, three. We got some ground up oyster shell. Try to do about equal on those. Try to keep this experiment as equal as possible. Cover that up, and we'll see what happens next. Well, the African Nightcrawler cocoons are definitely hard to find. I can't find those even in my big bin, so there may or may not be any in there. Found the one European cocoon and five Red Wiggler cocoons, so that's a, a good, uh, what, 23 days since I got started. So. We'll see what goes on. I'll do another update in another week or two. Thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment. Tell me if you've changed your mind or made up your mind on which worm will be the best reproducer. Hit that thumbs up button for me. And until next time, have a great day.